What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So I want to start this video off really quick with a quick question for you guys. Here I am right now on the Ark Life server. Press escape, you can see like the, some information about the server right here. You can pause it and read more about it if you're interested. But right now, I can either stay on this server and invite you guys in or... Whoa, someone's here. Someone wants to join me. Or... We can move back to the Major Salt Gaming server which comes out tomorrow. So anyway, I just got back from a super, super, super long day. I've been studying almost since 8 a.m. It's now 8.30 p.m. I think, and I've got to go meet my friend again to study a few more hours. Um, two massive exams coming up these next two days. I'm freaking out for them, but I feel pretty prepared. Uh, the other two exams, you know, I'm not going to talk about those, but thanks for all the good luck wishes. You guys are pretty pretty supportive for that. Um, I, 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 won't, I, won't, I won't lie to you guys. I did terrible. I might have actually failed one of the exams, like, pretty brutally. It was, it was just terrible. It was a super hard exam. Everyone failed it. So, I mean, I, I did what I could. That's all that matters. But anyway, two more in death week. Then I'm out of death week. Then I can start making some more, more arc videos, more regularity and this type of thing. The reason I've been doing more Subnautica these past few days, I know it gets a lot less views. Just the reason is because, well, my arc, this server in particular, keeps going down. And I'm not sure if that is like a normal thing for the server or if it's going to stop going down. Maybe it was temporary because of the updates, stuff like that. I'm not really sure what the, the, what the deal is with that, but hopefully it stays up now because I'm really liking it. And I want to show you guys this thing really quick. I forgot I went to start the episode with it, but you know, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now because I've been studying so long. Super high rates on everything, right? You see how quick I'm running around? That also means super high rates when you level up dinosaurs. So I have only been leveling up movement speed on this trike. Looks like we got a couple more levels too. So have you ever seen a 1700 movement speed trike? About to show you guys and blow your mind. This is just normal walking pace. And this is charging pace. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty wild. I just did pure movement speed because I know that trikes have like a knockback. So if he's attacking something, this dude is just going to sick him, knock him back for days. They're not going to be able to get out of it. All right. So I just talked to that guy. Um, that guy's name is, let's get his name out here real quick. You can see it. Arthenus. He said that he will take over the overflow tribe. So if we get a bunch of people that want to join us that can't fit into the tribe, we'll just make an alliance with him. He lives fairly close to me, but not too close. He's a really, really good player. I played with him last time. So that is the plan right now for this server, unless you guys want me to go back to Major Salt Gaming, which is restarting. I know it's crazy. There's like a whole bunch of changes going on right now. Hard for me to keep up with it because just because of how much work I have going on in my real life, all my studying, man, it's killing me. Anyway, this bird right here, this guy's named Bear. He's my health bird. I don't know why. I don't know why I need a health bird, but I'm going for health. And then where's my, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this guy's my movement speed bird. So he's got, you know, I mean, I just did a little damage, but he's got a little decent movement speed, 989 speed on a bird. I'll show you guys that real quick. It's, you know, nothing crazy, just kind of like unbelievably fast and amazing since you can get the weight up. It makes it so fun. So this guy's cool. I just kind of park him. Oh my gosh, look at him walk. That's, that, that's kind of wrong, honestly, like feels weird. But anyway, that's what I've got. I've tamed these dinosaurs. I have an Ankylosaurus over here, right here, this little guy. I'm just maxing out a little bit of weight on him and then a little bit of melee damage. So he actually gets a lot of melee damage. These guys grew a lot of levels while I was off. I haven't played in two days right now just because of all the work I've been working on right now. It's just it's just a little stressful, guys. Just a little stressful. So thank you guys for watching, too. I want to take a moment right now to say it's insane how many how many views my arc videos are getting like i don't know am i am i actually that good like i feel like i'm not that good i'm just not gonna lie to you i just kind of make these try to be myself i'm getting some crazy happy positive comments which is like just making my day so thank you guys for that it's really nice really really awesome one last thing before we get into this i just want to say I'm not going to be on much tomorrow. I probably won't be much on the day after, just due to all of the studying I'll be doing. But after that, I'll be back on it. I'm going to update the link with the correct server, depending on what you guys vote for. And then we're going to actually start getting people into my tribe. So I know some of you have been waiting really patiently to get in here, play with me um, on PC, by the way. Don't have an Xbox. Don't have plans to get one because I'm broke and I'm a college kid. Can't afford it. One day, though, I will get one once I'm obviously a famous YouTuber, which is clearly going to happen quite soon. And... Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan with that. Anyway, I've been collecting resources. You guys probably are pretty entertained by it. We're going to go put some resources inside, do a little quick crafting. I want to get started on a decent uh, passive dino pen. The server has a rule where if you have a dino pen, I think it's this server. I've tried out so many, I can't even remember now, to be completely honest with you. But you make a dino pen. Let's make it out of thatch for now. You make a dino pen, you have to put windows on it that are open and give people access to the inside of your dino pen. 15, that's pretty comfortable. People have to be able to get in your dino pen. Trank your dinos that are on passive and search their body because passive dino killing is disabled if they're in your dino pen So what that means is people would hide things in their dinosaurs when they're on passive No one could kill it. That means you had an easy way to store all your items So they made it so you have to allow people into your dino pen to trank dinos as long as they're on passive They're gonna trank it. They're gonna see there's nothing on it and you're gonna be good 
I should probably pick that plant. Can I still get it? Oh, I can. One thing I hate when the plants pop through your floor, man. It just it's, it doesn't look good. Like plants in a pot, you know, that's a good look. Plants through the floor, that just looks tacky. You gotta make it look nice. Okay, so we got, I don't know why I made 17 of these, but we got a couple of them. This is going to be a pretty sketchy looking dino pen. Like, I don't know, I'm not a bad designer, but I'm also not the world's best designer. So we'll see how exactly this thing's going to turn out. Three more. Oh, actually, hey, that lines up. Totally did it on purpose, guys. That's a decent size. <gasps> oh, we got steps right over here, guys. That's pretty nifty. Oh, yeah. Gamma 4. Everyone begs me to do that. You guys, you guys happy now? Got the Gamma 4? This looks like a little turret area. I need I need some people on here, man. I wish I could invite you so you guys could work while I'm off. But the problem is, no one's in my tribe now, so I can't promote anyone to admin. So I can't get anyone to play for me. So maybe if I can get my girlfriend or a real-life friend on here at some point, I'll get them to start recruiting people while I'm super busy. But in the meantime, ooh, that's super bright looking. I don't know about that gamma, guys. I don't know. Need wood, thatch, stuff like that. Let's make some walls. How many can we do? 100 plus. Do I need 100 plus? I, I mean... No, I don't. So let's do... I kind of want to make 100, though. 17. Let's see. I made it 17 by 17. I don't know. Let's make it 3 high. Let's just make 100 more. That's good. 143. That's probably a fair amount, right? Walk back outside. Okay, this gamma is too bright. What was it normally? Gamma 3? Oh, yeah. That's a little more natural feeling. All right. Now we're going to pump these walls on this bad boy. Bring it up. Make a nice, comfortable dino. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Since when was there a dude with a giant metal base and a monster with an entire base on its back living next to me. I don't know about that. It's a little bit frightening, but uh, yeah, hmm. we're going to need some serious work on this too once we get on here. But again, that's if we stay on the server. I don't want you guys to like vote for me to leave and then like get upset when I leave. So that's why I'm kind of like asking you what your opinion is on what I should do. Because honestly, I don't know. It's kind of weird because Major Salt Gaming was a fun server. It was kind of annoying to get wiped on. And it's going to be weird because the next server has no flyers enabled. So if you want to see flyers, you might not vote for that. But if you think that's interesting, maybe you do want to vote for it. I mean, it's, it's all up to what you guys want. I love ARK. I love playing ARK no matter how I'm playing it. So it's just kind of dependent upon what you like. And I'm going to make a gate. Let's just make a nice little... Oh, wait. Did I not get the... Did I have to get the gateway door? Oh, I didn't. How about that? I guess... Yeah, that's fine. Let's, no, no, no. Let's... I don't need this many. How do I clear it? Clear craft queue. Let's make this stone one just because it looks a little nicer, you know? Looks a little better. Has a better feel to it. Pop this bad boy down here. And also, if you guys hear a storm, we're about to get... Oh, that's that's not too big, is it? Can I fit that right in there? Does that look good? Just like uh, just like that? All right, right there. Looks pretty decent, I think. That's going to be good. Good looking. Oh, it's even on the floor. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, we'll see how that does. Put some walls in... Is that going to work out right? Can a dinosaur? Okay, that doesn't really overlap it too bad. That's good. That's comfortable. It's a comfortable comfortable little squeegee in there. Ooh, you're bleeding bad, buddy. And we'll pop two more over here. Okay, I'm going to need a whole another layer. At least three, maybe four. Is it three good enough? Nope, we're going to need four. Then we're going to add a roof to it. Get these bad boys nice and enclosed in here. This is going to be nice. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. I'm just doing the math real quick in my head. Yeah, definitely ten. That's exactly how much we need. <laughs> Guys, one thing I can't do right now is math. I've been doing way too much math today. I feel like I might be complaining a little bit too much right now about my uh, about my coursework right now in class because it's just so much right now. But just remember one thing that I keep telling myself is that when you want to give up, remember what point you're at right now. And remember there was a time in your life where you wanted to be where you are. Like right now where I am, a year ago, I wished I could get to this point. And you like think about that and you're like, if I gave up now, I would go back to wishing I was where I'm at right now. And it's just kind of something interesting. Keeps you going on days where you're just studying all day, struggling to understand concepts, or even on YouTube, honestly. There are times on YouTube where I'm like, oh man, this video didn't it didn't do well or it doesn't feel good. Um, just sometimes you, you just can't be super energetic because you're exhausted. Things happen and it feels bad. And you're just like, oh man, this is hard. But then you remember, like, where would I be? You know, if I quit, this was my dream. A month ago, my dream was to be nearing 2,000 subscribers. Now that I'm hitting that point, I couldn't, I just can't believe it. I'm just so full of happiness and joy from it. It's incredible. It's just, it's just an amazing thing to do. So let's get this last guy. Can I, I can't, no, I can't do that. Now we need some ceilings. Wood ceiling, 65, or I can make five. Well, let's just make, I think, what was it, 13? Let's just make like 20 or something. I mean, we got so many resources. We can be kind of, we can be kind of spendy with them. Just make however many we want to do. And let's get some more stone down here. 
That's gonna be pretty nice. We'll get our dinosaurs all nice and safe on the inside. So it'll be it'll be nice and fun. Oh I gotta jump. Can I? I can't jump while I'm crafting. Oh, I don't like that. I guess I gotta wait. Alright, just whipped up the couple ceilings here. I'm gonna see how these look. Oh man, come on, get up there. Now hopefully I can put a ceiling in the middle and then maybe I can snap a wall to that. That's the hope. Oh yeah, I got it right. That felt pretty good. Let's do a level up. What should I start leveling up to on this character? I got a lot of oxygen on here. Just feel like it'd be nice to be like a little swimmy guy, move a lot quicker. I didn't actually know that, but apparently, some of you may not know this either. Of course, the pros of you out there will, and it seems like a lot of people are pro, but oxygen actually increases your movement speed when you swim in the water. I thought your movement speed did that, but no, it's actually all oxygen, so that's pretty interesting. And I think it'll be cool once they, uh, if they ever release the next upgrade, like where the tech tier comes out, you'll be able to do some cool underwater bases they mentioned you could like build bubbles underwater so you could get your oxygen up i think it'd be like a whole new meta to the game where you could just build your entire base under there have all your stuff under there hopefully they'll add like metal underwater and stuff like that okay this is looking pretty decent let's get some dinosaurs inside now turn them on passive and i guess we'll just kind of leave the pen open come on buddy there oh man he's so fast can they fit i know i made the door kind of weird oh come on come on baby i know you want in oh look at that he is definitely not going in and i'm pretty sure it might be due to the fact that this gate might be on the floor but i'm not sure i'm not sure if that actually matters like he clearly could fit you know there's room there but he's just not going i'm going to break the gate and then see if maybe maybe i break the gate and then move him inside and then replace the gate just kind of go with it that way some of you guys are probably cringing at that it might be a terrible way to do it maybe he just maybe it's just not big enough it's just not big enough in general okay well hmm We'll make this kind of like a temporary cage then. We'll just bring him inside. We'll go ahead and trap him inside. And then once he's in there, he'll be nice and safe to level up. Nice on passive. No one will kill him. I think you can fit in now. There we go, buddy. Oh, man, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. That's okay. He fits in nicely. We'll bring in. We'll leave Cutie Pie outside for the intimidation factor. Bring over Mr. Ankylosaurus. Load them all inside. And then all they'll be safe. That way, when I get raided by the dude with the entire base on the back of his Brontosaurus... I'll be a little bit more comfortable, you know, I'm not going to get completely destroyed, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to lose them all, I might lose a lot of them, but, you know, it is what it is, let's bring, what's, there's a tail coming through the wall, ooh, baby, bring this guy in, um, we're going to, we're going to definitely have to work on, uh, expanding this guy a little bit, but for now, for what it, I mean, for its purpose, like, what it's trying to do, just keep my dinos safe, have them so they don't die to, like, a random wild allosaur or something like that, it's pretty good, and this scorpion, actually, I got him up to 589% melee damage, he actually knocked out the Rex by himself. Like, I just sent him to attack the Rex. Rex knocked out, and I was like, oh, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just go ahead and tame the Rex then. I'll leave my bird outside, and I'm pretty sure the Rex, there's no way he's going to fit. What I should do is just completely enclose it. No doors, no nothing. Like, you guys are in here for life. You're never getting out. This is actually kind of depressing to think about. It kind of reminds me of, like, a movie. Like, I'm just kind of, like, sealing them inside like a horror movie. And there we go. They're all gone. So this is definitely not a passive box. I'm pretty sure actually someone could break in here and just kill them all. So I'm just going to make a little door. Let's make a door, a door, a sign. Put a sign outside. We'll put the passcode on the sign. That way people can get inside. And I'll just say like, these are my passive dinos. Please no kill. Be respectable. And then if they do kill, well, hopefully, let's just hope they don't. Let's hope they, they listen. Let's put the door. Um, I kind of like it on this side right there. Put a little door in. What's a good password? Let's let's go with set. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Set pin code will make it one 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 zero, and let's set up a sign right here, and we'll say this is a pat. Nope. Passive dino pen. Code. No wait. How should I word this? Door code is one 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 zero. There we go. So now people can get inside if they want. Check my dino. See that there's hopefully nothing on them. They're actually could be take that off of him don't want people to get that hide we got a little berry on him and this guy's kind of sinking in the ground 14 arrows 420 wood 420 i know what that means that was a funny joke okay that's pretty good that's pretty good looking base um is it the most beautiful base ever yeah it is i think it's probably the best base i've ever seen in my life while playing this game so all you guys out there tell me i don't know how i'm building all you building that's not I think I said that wrong. All you guys who say I don't know how I'm building, you guys are crazy. That's a good base. This is a nice base. It's nice and compact. It looks good. It feels good. I feel like I might be going a little crazy right now from how much I studied. There's a good chance I am because, I mean, it's just a lot. It's a lot of studying. 
Dang, I actually have 310 iron bars. I had that thing cooking all night long. I just went on like a mini iron trip and I got a whole bunch of it. So now, what can I build? I don't have any I don't have any chitin, so I can't build a cementing paste from that. But I know there are beaver dams around. I could go on a beaver dam hunt. Um handcuffs aren't gonna do me much good here. So it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Once we get some people in here, probably I mean maybe really late tonight once I get back from my nice little study sesh. I'll invite my girlfriend in. Make her an admin because I know she's been missing Ark. Hasn't been able to play it for a while because she's been away from her home for a while. And then once she gets in, she'll be able to add people. I'm just getting a little bit of wood because I might need it later because I have some plans to get a whole bunch of charcoal. That 600 wood should be enough for what I want to do because this dude over here, you guys saw the dude with a massive. Br Let's go take a quick fly over. Just take a quick look. See what we're see what we're up against. Just a real quick fly. All right, Brano base. We got a Rex. We got a Quetzal. What did I? There's no way I built next to this guy and didn't see this. There's no way that this was here yesterday. There's no way. It's got three cages. Quetzal, Quetzal, Rex. Should we get down there lower? I'm totally going to die. That is a heck of a base, man. What's your name? What's your name? You are Tribe of Hunglo. Well, can Hunglo see me from there? No, he most definitely can. That's okay. Hopefully Hunglo won't do too much damage when he attacks us and raids us tonight. Because you know it's going to happen. Until we until we get more people, until I get more free time to actually work up and build on our base with a server this high of rates. I have a stone base after three days, so I'm just kind of a sitting duck right now. But, I mean, it's not too bad. A little raid's not going to hurt me too much. Because, like, with the high rates, if I was playing official and got raided, they might take, like, 100 wood. That might have taken me, like, an hour to get 100 wood or something. At least on these rates, if I lose 300 metal, it's only a couple minutes of work. Anyway, guys. I gotta get out of here. Gotta start studying for my next exam. Thanks for understanding. Um, I really struggled to get this video out today, so I hope it's good. Hope you guys like it. Hope you're all having an awesome day, and I love you all very much, and I'll see you again tomorrow. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Loverfella, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode on Subnautica. I'll be playing that more in the future, but for now, 